June 25th. I went to the hospital today after eating a juicy, sweet watermelon. In the afternoon, I felt something weird in my stomach. The doctors scanned my body and found an unusual abnormality. A watermelon seed I'd swallowed in the morning stayed in my stomach for some reason, and it looks like it's sprouting inside me now. I wanted to get rid of it, but the doctors said it was safe, as long as it was controlled. They also offered me a more than decent amount of money if I let them watch the watermelon grow. June 26th. I learned a lot about watermelons. They're berries, actually. Their seeds, just like the seeds of other berries, can't settle in the human body. They just float through our digestive system and remove themselves from the body during the day when we go to the toilet. To grow a watermelon, you need warm soil rich in nutrients. The human stomach is not fit for this, but mine is absolutely perfect for growing watermelons for some reason. Okay, let's see what happens next. And by the way, the watermelon will fully ripen in my stomach after about 80 days. July 12th. I feel quite fine. I have a lot of energy and strength, in fact. I used to need a lot of food to feel full. For lunch, I could eat a hamburger, a portion of french fries, fried wings, vegetable salad, and a soda to wash it down. Today, I eat only vegetables and drink a lot of water. What's the norm for a person? Half a gallon of water per day? I think I drink a little more. July 20th. I spent all day outside. The sun is shining, and I like to bathe in its rays. I couldn't imagine my life without air conditioning in the summer before. Now, I don't even turn it on. I like the heat. The cool thing is, I don't sweat at all. The watermelon growing inside me takes all the moisture. The average watermelon weighs 20 pounds and is 90% water. I drink about a gallon of water a day. The most amazing thing is that I hardly eat food. Water makes me feel full. I hope my body will be all right. July 31st. I'm back in the hospital. The doctors are making an ultrasound of my stomach. A small ball is visible inside, but it's not round like a normal watermelon. My watermelon has taken the shape of my stomach and has become oval. Soon, my entire stomach will be filled with the watermelon and there won't be enough space for food at all. Doctors give me liquid vitamins for normal body functioning. A doctor is taking a blood test. He says my blood is 30% watermelon juice now. I guess that makes me the sweetest person on the planet. August 5th. The city has been overcast for three days. The sun is hidden behind gray clouds. I feel bad. I drink a lot of water, but it's not enough for me. I need the sun. The doctors tell me to go to the tanning salon. I sunbathe for two hours and drink two glasses of water every 10 minutes. The salon employees are shocked. Okay, I feel good now. The watermelon has absorbed enough energy from the UV rays. I'm going home. It's raining. Everyone is walking around with umbrellas or rushing to hide under roofs. But I enjoy the weather. I stand still for a few minutes and get wet to the bone. But when I come home, I notice I'm completely dry. Down to the clothes. Cool. Now I can absorb water through my skin. Sounds like a superpower. I look in the mirror and realize why people in the tanning salon were looking at me like that. My skin has a greenish tinge. August 12th. I didn't want to go to the tanning salon and scare people again, so I built my own. I bought two regular tanning bulbs, got into the bathroom, surrounded myself with UV rays, and lay there all day. When I got out of the tub, it was completely dry. My body absorbed all the water. August 26th. The watermelon inside me is two months old. In 20 days, it'll be fully grown. What will happen next? The doctors don't know. My body takes the watermelon for a new organ and adapts to it. The doctor gave me a special serum that returns my normal skin color. I can feel the weight of the watermelon inside. My belly is round, and there's nothing I can do about it. August 30th. I got sick. Probably caught a cold. Now I spend all day in the hospital under constant supervision of doctors. I can taste my saliva. It's sweet like watermelon juice. 
When I sneeze, little seeds fly out of my mouth. They look nothing like watermelon ones. They're green, and I can see some kind of vessels inside them. I wonder, if I plant them, will watermelons grow? Can I call them my children? September 5th. It's very hard for me to move. My belly is huge. I take a mud bath under the UV lamps. Doctors talk to me less than usual. They don't tell me what's happening to me. They're hiding something. I can feel it. I can see the fear in their eyes as they pass by. What did I do to frighten them? I haven't looked in the mirror for a long time, but I don't want to. I'm sure I'll see a green monster there. Something amazing is happening. Grass and plants begin to grow around the mud bath where I lie. But the coolest thing is that I can feel these plants. I think I can communicate with them. They don't have thoughts, but I can feel if a flower wants water or warmth. My belly isn't just round. It's hard as a rock. I feel okay with it, though. Doctors say they can't surgically remove the watermelon from my body because it has become part of it. September 12th. Today, I got up from the mud bath, took a shower, cleaned myself up, and looked in the mirror. I look like a cute green orc with a big belly. I'm walking around the hospital now. I hear voices. Is it in my head, or are they real? I can't hear what they're saying, but there are lots of them. They seem to be speaking in my own voice. I think I'm going crazy. The doctors still won't tell me what this is all about. But I can see in their eyes that they know what those voices are. September 16th. The day has come. The watermelon is fully ripe. I wake up and put my hand on my stomach. But it's not round anymore. The doctors tell me that the watermelon dissolved completely in my body. Something's changed inside me. My skin is green, but I can make it normal at will. I can feel the plants around me. I think I can control them. With an effort of willpower, I force the stem of a plant nearby to bend in the right direction. This is awesome! The voices come back again. They sound louder this time. They call me. I wait for the doctors to leave my ward and try to discern what the voices are saying. September 17th, nighttime. The doctors left the hospital, leaving just one on duty. He's fallen asleep. I leave my ward and go to the source of the voices. They're getting louder. I see a door marked Top Secret. Voices are coming from there. It's locked. I go to the sleeping doctor and take the key card out of his pocket very carefully. I walk into a secret lab and... Remember the seeds that flew out of my mouth? I didn't pay much attention to them and forgot all about it. But the doctors have collected every seed that I spat out. I thought they would grow into ordinary watermelons, but they didn't. Right before my eyes, there are several capsules filled with water. Little green people are sitting inside. Half human, half watermelon. I can hear their voices. We communicate telepathically. They're asking for help. I think we should get out of this lab. Now I'm going to release my children and escape from here. I hope this isn't my last record. May 24th. It's been almost a year since I swallowed the seed. I'm fine. I live far from civilization with my children. We live in harmony with nature on a green field near a dense forest. This is probably my last message. I and the army of my watermelon children are planning to take over all of humanity soon because people are polluting nature too much. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not some super villain. If anyone finds this record, then no. I'm happy. Over and out. <laughs>